So when is a print not a print? When it's a monoprint. In that, this is a print in that it's a transferred image, but it's rather different to most prints in that it doesn't generate multiple images. A monoprint actually will be, as it says, always mono, always individual. And the first image is based on um, a double portrait drawing, which again from my Ethiopian sketchbook. So I'm going to put that in front of me as a source material. I've already drawn out my image, and this is a reverse image. I've scaled it up and drawn it out using a light box. We've got here an acrylic sheet. This acrylic sheet will be inked over and the mask will enable the edges to be quite sharp. If you don't want sharp edges or you don't want an edge to your print, you don't need to use mask. The other materials that we need available for this session are inks and some drawing materials. I've got here again um, some various different sorts of pencils, graphic, uh, graphite stick, biro. I can also use my fingers to rub in. I'm going to just adhere the mask to the table with some masking tape. There are no particular health and safety considerations with this. Uh, as with other uh, printing approaches using ink, if you're sensitive to, to the ink, you can use rubber gloves. But other than that, we're not using any materials that are hazardous to help. Just, so to start with, I'm going to just ink up my acrylic sheet. Now, before I start drawing, I'm going to just apply a sheet of newsprint to the ink and lift off the surface of the ink. If you don't want to do it, you'll get an inkier print. Bring over the mask and then apply my paper and then get my image again because I want that kind of inky drawn quality. If I rest my hand or my arm against the drawing I'll get a mark. So I'm endeavouring not to do that. This stage on fairly bold lines. What I'm going to do is just rub down with my fingers in certain areas just to get a darker effect. It's not very precise. I'm not really very much idea how it's going to turn out, that in a way is the fun of it. And then I'm going to use the biro just to get a contrasting fine line. Okay, so it's an image that is emerges from that drawing that has a very distinctive quality of its own.